This is getting intense. Oh. What are you gonna grab from the lettuce, man? You can't grab nothing from the lettuce. Oh, come on. He's like, yep. Welcome on Rep Pack, Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest Spongebob and Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the owner and creator of this channel also happens to own a kiosk at the mall. I know she's cute, but just, just ignore her because once you make eye contact, she's gonna make it super uncomfortable. And then once you sit down, she's only gonna clean one of your shoes. So I just don't recommend it. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Nickelodeon shopping camera flip. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Red Pack, because your boy is here. And today is gonna be a very special day because we are going to the mall. We are gonna be going to all three of our favorite stores over there to try to find all types of new stuff for the collection. We do these buyouts at pretty much every main retailer. And we even do the thrifting in the flea market. But the place that we try to avoid the most is <laughs> the mall retailers. Ooh. I felt like you shot me with an arrow to the hip, but it was just my wallet spontaneously combusting. Yeah, I mean, it, it cost that arm and a leg. So. <laughs> but that is absolutely the truth. When it comes to going to the mall, the prices are always going to be a little higher. But we found some amazing things at the mall that they really only have at certain stores, like FYE, Box Lunch, and Hot Topic, and a few other stores. And today, we are going to be going to FYE, which is a very special one because there's only a couple locations that actually exist still. And they're a huge store. I mean, even their logo kind of has like orange in it. They've even sent us packages over here before that were filled with Nickelodeon stuff. So Nickelodeon's always had a presence in their store. And we found some awesome stuff, but we haven't been there in so long. So we're going to be going there today, checking out all the new stuff they have, bringing it back here, and adding it to the collection, of course. But make sure you subscribe. Make sure you have bell notifications on all that stuff because we're doing a mall hunt this whole week. And I think we are going to gather so many awesome stuff to add to the collection. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So do not miss it. But we need to hop in the car. So let's go ahead and head out. And on that note, this this is lights out, baby! Hey, wait, 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 wait! I, I, I thought it was for thrifting videos only. This is a mall hunt. Who said I was gonna kick it? I'm just gonna. Oh, oh, okay. Darkness, it surrounds you. Okay guys, so we are in the car now. We're on our way to FYE. They have so much cool stuff that's dropping over there. And last time they had a whole Scooby-Doo section. So I'm excited to see what they have there. I didn't pick up anything last time we were there because we were doing Parker's buyout where I was buying him everything Avatar we could find. So if I see some more of the Scooby-Doo stuff, anything else that we're looking for, of course, I'm gonna pick it up. And if we see anything else along the way, of course, we'll pick up the camera and share it with you guys. Cause this whole shopping trip is not gonna be nearly as fun unless we have you guys with us. So make sure you smash the like button and let me know down below in the comments your favorite thing we find the day let's head on in all right guys so we're at the mall right now we're going through the jc penny our secret entrance we got to go through the <sighs> perfume department which is rough but it's a faster way to fye so let's go in all right guys so we're going on out you guys can see fye is actually here we saw online it said permanently closed so i didn't even think they were going to be open i thought we were going to get here and just kind of have to do more of a general search but it looks like that is not true they're still open so let's get on in there and check out what they got <laughs> Okay, so we got to the Scooby-Doo stuff, and I told you guys, this is the stuff I was looking for the most. I am definitely gonna be picking up the Scooby-Doo Monopoly. So I, I've been holding out on it for so long. I already have the Scooby-Doo clue. I just think they would look too clean next to each other. Gotta say, I love all of the merch they have for Courage the Cowardly oh, Dog. I didn't even know it was Courage's, yeah, that makes yes, sense. Yes, this is the cover for the actual movie itself. But it even has the Scooby Meets Courage logo on the side right here, too. I'm not gonna get it, because I don't really, you know, with all this hair, I can't really fit a hat on in any size, <laughs> so I won't do that. But this guy right here, too, how much asking for it oh my god $40 for this that little, little satchel dang. that little satchel but that's like a do, Game Boy case for back well, in the what day. I will say that was they have these for sales though so they have socks 50% off hats I don't know where this would go under though I don't think this is BOGO so the blankets though are 50 percent off so if we get the board game we'll get the blanket for 50 percent off oh dude do i do this one he's cute his head's a little squished but there he goes it looks a little better <laughs> yeah. like that but i also kind of like this blanket i don't know dude this is really sick too it has all the ghosts on there or a lot of them anyway i know should i do the scooby with a plushie in the little blanket or should i do the big blanket without a plushie i mean this gives you more scooby representation i think yeah i think there was better ones of these yeah. though. The head's not so like snouted so but i think i'm gonna get one of these 
these guys and also the Monopoly to, for the collection. This, of course, is going to go in the Cartoon Network collection, but these are pieces I've been waiting to get to get for so long. So I'm so glad they have this sell on 50% off. All right, guys. So unfortunately, the plushies and the box games do not mix and match, which is weird because they're both 50% off. But we're going to go and get the Jenga instead because you can kind of make a little, little Scooby-Doo sandwich. I think that's going to be fun. I mean, and Mitchell could do a little Jenga competition. Oh, boy. You know, I got the slick, smooth hands, you know. Oh. I think I'm going to beat you. But it's also comfort cartoons, and I always lose on this channel. So that's also a possibility. But I'm not going to put that energy out there. Me and the gang, we're going to wreck you. Because the whole gang's on my side. The only guy on your side, Mitchell, is the minor 49er. And he doesn't look like he's in the best of shape. What do you mean? He's glowing without. His rock hard abs. And that great complexion. Why, he's glowing with health. All right, guys. And now we made it over here to the Avatar section. And they pretty much have the same stuff that you normally see. So I'm not going to pick up anything here. There's nothing, like, really that stands out to me. Last time they had the Zuko Zosses. That was awesome. They had some cool stuff but pretty normal stuff here. We got some shots for you guys, we're gonna move on. So recently, a lot of the Avatar stuff has been on sale because they've been stocking so much of it. And I've been waiting for these guys. Originally, they were $30. $30. Now they're down to $13.88. It's a reasonable Funko price. Now's the time to strike. <laughs> we're going to get Avatar's Day Ing. We're also going to get Azula. And we're also going to get Zuko. Oh, so nice. we have all three of these guys for the price of essentially one almost, if you think about it. That is not bad at all. Probably one of the best pickups here. This isn't bad either for the $20, but we want to save some room for some non-Avatar stuff. But of course, with the resurgence of Avatar right now, we're looking for Nickelodeon stuff. This is the easiest stuff to buy, and I'm not gonna miss this deal. Okay, guys, so we found a few. I might get the Stitch in Cuffs, and I might get this Casey Jones. I'm not 100% sure, because we have a lot of Funko Pops in the collection already, but I do like these ones, but I like I said, I don't want to go all crazy on Funko. Let's look around, and if we can't find anything else, we'll definitely gonna pick up the Stitch in Cuffs. Funko gets me every time, though, dude, because I'm like, oh, let's just get not so many Funkos, and we got Kite here, dude. And then you have Aeroplane Miss Chalice, like, oh, man. And then we have the Devil's Throne, too. That's so tough. This is tough. It's tough not to get every single pop. Oh, look, dude, they got SpongeBob, 200 episodes. Yeah, we're trying to add some DVDs if we can find any good DVDs. Oh, look at this, too. The whole Puptastic 8 DVD collection. Is there any way we could have this on the road and actually hit me with it? Is there any way we could actually hit me with the fire truck? I would rather do that than this, Mitchell. Okay, just go to the back, okay? Okay, we don't quite need that, but that is really cool. We have the Scooby-Doo cookie jar right there. But we did pick up the Scooby-Doo meets the Boo Brothers, which is one of my favorite, probably one of the most classic movies of all time. It's Shaggy Red Shirt series. Yeah, classic Shaggy Red Shirt, but don't forget the blue jeans. That yeah, also no, changes. Which is weird as the front is he's in a green. Yeah, that's what you know him for. So yeah. Mark <laughs> that. And surprisingly, we don't have it in the collection, so I'm glad we found a copy of the day, and it's brand new and sealed, too. Okay, so these are pretty cool. They have a bunch of different ones. Rick and Morty, looks like Reptile. See a little SpongeBob. Yeah, we got SpongeBob. Freaking, I, these are actually not even that bad. Five dollars is not that bad of a price. I do not wear usually these type of style underwear, but these are definitely not bad. This one's five dollars. Apparently, normally they're twenty-five bucks. So five Dang, bucks must be an insane like, deal. Yes, yeah, that's, that's a steal. So if you guys are interested in those, we got a bunch of them here. But this is what I thought was beautiful. Dude. It is so precious. Oh my god, I didn't it's, even see that. It's so beautiful. The Jellyfish zipper. I love that. That is sick. I know, but these things are like... They're probably like 40, 50 bucks. 90. Oh, 90, yeah. That's these things are really pricey, but not just that. I don't collect lounge fly bags as of yet. But if they keep making more SpongeBob ones like this, I might be forced to. This one's just so adorable, though. So you have the glitter on the actual bubbles itself. The beautiful logo up there. I love seeing the Nick logo like that. Like you said, it gives me total like arcade redemption machine, but like a modern like Lisa Frank look at it. Yeah, it's just super cute. And then right here we have the Coral one too. They have some awesome ones. Like if I started collecting lounge fly though, we would have to make a whole another room. So that's why I've stayed away so far. And then behind that is a blue one that is so cute too. And look at the zipper. It's the handy dandy notebook. Oh my, oh my lord, how that much cuter can it get? There's like so many little things. I was gonna say, what's in the back? Yes, they have a clue from blue back there. What does the back of the SpongeBob have anything? Oh, oh my god, yes. that is so cool. I I don't know. I just there's so many things for us to collect. 
already. I just don't know about lounge fly. If you guys want me to start collecting some of the SpongeBob lounge fly bags, maybe that'll have to be its own separate video. So that one's hard to, to pass up for sure. I know, I know. It's just because like, I'm not going to wear this anywhere and I just don't I mean, you don't have to wear it. I know, but $80. I know, $80 is crazy. I just wanted to share with you guys, look sick. Okay, guys, so first off, I want to stop and show this because I was like, oh, Scooby-Doo. And then I was like, oh, wait, I also like that too, though. <laughs> we got the Scooby-Doo Kakashi lanyard. That's that so is so cool. I didn't expect to see that. <laughs> but we did see this guy over here, and this is new. We, there's only one left, man. Shout out to the sponge. There's only one left on here. It looks like you have the SpongeBob one and a bold and brownish. Oh, it's a three-pack. Oh, dang. I don't know what the third one is. I'm going to get this one. Hopefully, we can get a deal on it since it's missing one. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna go actually into Spencer's and you know, Mitchell, I'm gonna have to get Mitchell at the back of the store. But we're gonna go in there. Oh no. It's not lounge fly, but they do have Invader Zip and ones they right also here. Have Reptar or Yeah, Reptar. this is a different Reptar though. I think the Reptar bar actually, because he's got the white eyes. You've never seen him with. He looks so odd with the white eyes. Oh, dude, the wallet is so dope. They're really getting creative with the Invader Zip stuff, stuff here. Too. Oh, nice. Oh my God. Oh, oh well, that's that's way, that's way cuter. Probably the best one <laughs> and it's got. by Loungefly as well, dude. Loungefly, you guys are killing me with this stuff. I might start a Loungefly collection, but you know, this is a definitely not maybe my style in particular <laughs> for me. So I'm not going to pick it up, but this is so cute. Okay, we are actually going to look for this poster right here because oh, this dang. poster, do you know what that is? Come on, Mitchell. We're testing your sponge knowledge here. We're, we're teaching you. Is that the game? That is the four-piece TV guide. Oh, okay, that's so, right. Yeah, so this is a TV now guide for Mr. Krabs, SpongeBob, Patrick, and then Squidward and Sandy. Yeah. So it's all in one poster. So we actually have this hung up in the room. Ryan will show you guys a shot of it. That would be an amazing piece to have in the collection, to have like the full thing all together, and then also the separated copy. That would be sick. And it looks like we have it right here. So boom, we actually found this poster. We... <laughs> I feel like we're finding more at the other stores than Box Lunch. <laughs> all right, so an awesome one to add. Let's get it. All right, guys, so we are back from FYE. It is the next day, and we got so much awesome stuff there. I honestly had a pretty good deal, and I really did kind of make my FYE subscription card worth it. And I saved $12.99 because of that FYE percentage card. Uh, how much do you even pay a month? I mean, like, what is it worth? I pay, like, I think uh, $10 a month on it. But, but I also get a, a copy of Car Magazine in the mail every month that I don't read. When's the last time you went to FYE? Not that, that, that long ago. Okay, it's not really necessarily always worth it but i mean it was worth it for me i got to use it <laughs> well, yes I, you do it for your friends because it seems like my friends get actually more use out of it than i do but if you go there a lot it could be worth it but damn you gotta spend a lot for it to be worth it <laughs> but we got some awesome stuff there let's sit on down and hop into it and check out what we found okay so first off we got the monopoly right here and i already know that this is going to be a classic in the cartoon network room you've got shaggy scooby daphne fred and of course our very popular as of recently velma <laughs> but if you look at the rest of the box here, it actually has all of these different, you know, references to Scooby-Doo. We got the multiple different foods that Scooby and Shaggy could be caught eating. It's got rope. It's got yikes. It's got pow, boom, row, row. And it's also got jinkies. And it's actually interesting because all of those different phrases are very, very modern and trending right now for different things in the world. So it's kind of weird that, you know, the show from the 70s is getting such a resurgence right now. It's always been huge, but it had a definite lull for a period of time. Was popular in the 90s, had another lull, but it's getting another resurgence in the modern era, which, which is kind of inconsistent with most of the stuff usually being from the 80s and 90s. This show goes back to the 60s and has survived its entire time because the concept works in any era and the phrases work because they're so original. But on the back here, let's check it out. Who do we get to use? Of course, we got the original gang here. We got Fred, Daffy, Shaggy, Velma, Mystery Machine. It's interesting that all of the other names are trademarked, but the Mystery Machine, they couldn't pin that down. All right, I don't know if we're gonna rank every single item today, but usually we use our good noodle board on screen. Screen, but today we're gonna be ranking in Scooby Snacks just for this item. I'm gonna say since we got it, this is typically forty dollars. Do you think it's worth a forty dollars? No. It's, yeah, it's not really necessarily worth a forty dollars. It does have a very very clean cover, but there's so many different versions of Monopoly out there. And I mean, considering most people already have Monopoly, it is definitely just the gimmick of it being displayed. And let's be realistic; it's mostly just cardboard and cards. For me in particular, I'm paying for the packaging. Yeah, you know? at that point. So I think that maybe forty, but we got it for fifty percent off because it was buy one get one 50% off on board games. So I'm going to go ahead and say on that price, I'm going to give it nine Scooby Snacks out of 10. I'm going to agree. Yeah, nine Scooby Snacks sounds like a good price. Because we basically got it for like 25 yeah. bucks. Yeah, because it's like, oh, no, that's a normal price, you know? Yeah, so. but it's a 
assuming you have another board game you want there, and I couldn't leave this behind, and that is the Scooby-Doo Jenga. I did want to get a blanket there because all of the Jengas were a little bit messed up, but I think that's just something that goes hand in hand with Jenga because of the fact that it is a literal brick. We were carrying the bag around the entire mall, <laughs> and the whole time my shoulder keeps popping out of its socket, I'm like, what the hell is in this damn bag? And I'm thinking we have the Monopoly in there, we have the Avatar U2s, I'm like, man, Aang's big bald noggin is putting some <laughs> weight on me, and then we get to the car, and I'm like, oh, I'm carrying a literal brick. So we had to carry a lot of stuff through the mall, but this guy was definitely a weird thing. So we had to drop it off because it was starting to like knock against other stuff. So let's get this thing out of its box. So we have the dice right here. I've never even, have you ever used a dice when playing Jenga? I'm wondering if that's like, oh, because there's like, it's like designed as like a sandwich. Like, oh, you gotta pull that color out maybe. Oh, that makes it a little bit more difficult. Cause before, like when I was a kid, I would just look for the, the least vulnerable spot. As so you, now it's like, yeah. oh, you gotta risk pulling a bun piece out or something. You know? <laughs> Oh, dude, that, that is, is sick. so sick. It actually says Scooby-Doo on the actual pieces. Now, that makes it a little bit more worth it to me. You got the Jenga logo over there. You get the nice little collaboration there. But not just that, you have the Scooby-Doo back piece right here. It looks like it might be a cardboard, but I would have hoped it was like a plastic material so you can settle the bricks in, you know? Yeah. Especially considering this guy was $27.99. Jesus. That's what? a lot for wood, man. You could buy a 4 by 4 for less than this. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got the Jenga open, and yes, this is just like a cardboard little piece here so it's not gonna help us too much with structuring it but let's just try to see if we can get it oh my lord <laughs> all right so we got the jenga set up here we're gonna go ahead and pull this across and boom i mean yes you could keep it. it is just cardboard but you could keep it and right here it has your very obvious rules because jenga is a very complicated game that most people couldn't figure out so since i am a genius and i also watched rick and morty season one through four meaning i'm top tier intelligent and i've also watched a little bit of solar Damn. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna roll this dice, and whatever that oh, no. lands on, I'll never right guess here. that. <laughs> no, no, you didn't. Right here, this lands on a man's mustache. And then you gotta pull from whatever color. So like for this example, I'm gonna pull the wrong one so you can see what an idiot would look like. Dude, my, well, I'll, I'll give you credit on that one. Yeah, see, that's what an idiot would look like. But I am not one, so I'm gonna go ahead and just I'll show you how to play and then we'll turn it back on. All right, so we have the dice right here. There's also rules for solo gameplay. Cause that's a thing that somebody wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes I can just sit here, see how good I am at Jenga. I don't really imagine that, but I guess you could play solo Jenga and you know, the more power to you. But I'm gonna go ahead and do my roll and you will see I landed on the bread. And when you get the bread- oh, that's the easiest one. Yeah, the bread is right at the head. This is right here, it's called sleight of hand. That is what a multi-million IQ level genius looks like. This is not even possible. Like, you can't even have that high of an IQ. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Every thought is pain. All right, your turn, Mitchell. Go ahead and roll your dice. See what piece of the BLT you're getting. Ooh, oh, now piece. that you're a man. <laughs> Can you get the lead? It's out. Now that you're a man, you can't get the lead. It's out. Now that you're done, you're going to have <laughs> us. <laughs> dice up. Bacon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's a wiglet. We're only two moves in. <laughs> You've already committed. Oh, I've committed. Atrocities. Murder. <laughs> Murder of this game. Okay, your Jenga skills game. Please, something easy. Oh, you have the most diminished of all sections. The bacon. <laughs> it's gonna be hard for one end. Oh, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard, all right. All right. This is where you crumble up. <laughs> <laughs> Why can I not win at this? Tomato Ooh, again. What is tomato that? on the Squidward? This is how winning is done. Day up. No more bacon, please. No bacon. Bacon! You yeah. love the bacon! <laughs> can I go from the top? You can go from wherever oh. you want in that bacon. Oh damn, man. You are really messing up the court. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Go ahead and pull two. It's that on, is neglect. It's, it's on thin You've gotten this building to condemn. It's on demolition day. <laughs> That's not a good idea. No, it's not a good idea. Underestimating me. We got one more to go on bread. Oh, damn. Oh, damn is right. Now I'm scared to roll. I have ascended. <laughs> this is getting intense. Oh. Oh my god, it's so, what are you gonna grab from the lettuce, man? You can't grab nothing from the lettuce. Oh, come on. It's like good. Oh, let's go! Let's go! He shook let's the table. Go. Yes! Yes! I didn't shake no table. You leaned forward and that was it. I didn't lean forward. Rewind it. He's like good. Ah! 
Now that is what we call the W. <laughs> All right, so that was an amazing fun, and I gotta say, Jenga is a fun game. They can be. <laughs> it's very intense, but you know that was a tough, tough battle. But either way, I gotta say the Scooby Doo branding did make it more fun for me, and the whole little like. You I just know, like that it's a sandwich. Yeah, it's like okay, it just made it more intense for no reason. <laughs> yeah, because when I was a kid, it felt like the beginning of the game was so easy because you just go for all the loose ones, and then yeah, you're stuck there. But but I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy a ten. That was a ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ten Scooby snacks out of ten. I recommend this thing, especially if you could get this for like freaking half off. You can get the deal going on. An amazing deal. Probably my favorite pickup, even more than the Monopoly so far. Okay, so next up, guys, we have the Momo here, and I did not get this at the store we went to. This was actually the only Avatar U2s that I had currently, and I paid about $27 for it, so that was the original price, and I knew if I were to get one of them, I wanted to get Momo, so we have him. But, since they were on sale, we got a bunch of them right here. We got, surprisingly, Avatar State Egg. I felt like that would have been one of the first ones to go, and then we got Azula, which I felt like would have been the second one to go, and then we have Zuko, so honestly, the fact that Katara, Sokka, and Appa were the ones we're missing kind of surprised me a little bit. But let's go ahead and check out the Aang here. There is a regular state Aang. Is it called regular state Aang? Like, <laughs> Avatar State is its own thing, and then regular state Aang is like from Kentucky. It's a regular state. <laughs> but right here we have him in Avatar State. You see him doing his vortex right here, which could I guess be air or water or both, because he is the Avatar. But I gotta say the YouTube designs are really, really cool. Let's go ahead and compare that over here to the Bunko Avatar State Aang, where he's He's actually on the air scooter. Which one, Mitchell, are you gonna give the seal here is your, your favorite? I mean, I do like that the pop glows, that's cool. Yeah, this one don't glow, but. I mean, the detail on it is kind of nice. Yeah, it's super detailed, I do agree with that. I would say if I found them both standing side by side, I'd have to go with the pop. Yeah, I almost wanna say he looks a little older than 10 years old. It doesn't look bad, he just looks more mature than, you know, the very adorable Aang, you know, that's kind of his thing, is he's so cute, but then he turns into Avatar State, he's like so powerful, but he's still this 10 year old boy. Hang, come on, step out of it. Ah! He looks kind of like older Aang there, but the Zula one, let's go ahead and check this one out. I have to say she looks way better than Aang. Oh my, yeah, that's significantly <laughs> different. <laughs> it looks so sick. So if we compare the Zula, oh, I had the Zula Funko Pop, but she's way up there. <laughs> but I would like to compare the Azula Funko Pop to the Azula U2s. So Ryan will put an image on screen. Mitchell, you've seen it, so you know what it looks like. But we have the Azula U2s right here. But I will say the Azula one for the U2s is probably my favorite so far. Azula is one of those characters where you can't help but like her. It's kind of like Plankton or any of the Nickelodeon villains, really. They're evil, but because they're so funny and they have so many attributes that makes you like them, you eventually start to love them. What are you doing here? You mean it's not obvious yet? I'm about to celebrate becoming an only child! And Azula can actually use lightning, which is kind of crazy because our man Zuko over here can really only direct the lightning. So, I mean, she's really OP. It's just too bad she's a little psycho and wants to dominate and take over the entire world. <laughs> first thing I don't really enjoy about the YouTube is that they put this cover over the actual item itself so you can't really see this and then you have to figure out what am I gonna do with this thing if yeah. you want to put it back in the protector like this like you could do that but then it's like okay well now what am I gonna do with this thing like I have to do something with this and then not just that they're so tightly sealed in them I actually ended up dropping the pop so that is my fault but this piece came off I'm gonna be able to re-glue it very easily because it's got a clear spot where it goes in so it won't even be noticeable at all and it actually does stay there for a little bit so we can get a shot of it and I do love the figure but I gotta say comparatively to maybe like the Spongebob U2s I feel like the Avatar translation doesn't necessarily look as good so I think for the whole U2s Avatar line I'm gonna go ahead and give it seven good noodle stars out of ten yeah I was thinking six and a half seven yeah it just depends on the design because for twenty seven dollars <throat> yes this is more detailed than a Funko Pop but it doesn't matter how detailed something gets if you don't like the design or the way that it looks it doesn't matter how much you pay for those details if they're not the details that you want it's just extra the only one that i'd say like really like, i was just gonna say yeah. momo momo translates beautifully and even him though that's an expensive price but at a discount i'd say it's worth it but when it comes to the spongebob ones in particular they mold so well that i would say that they're worth it so the avatar ones i do think that that is probably why they ended up on such a deep clearance maybe and i'm glad that we got them at a discount because i do think they're worth the 11 that we paid for them and i think they're good pieces to add to the collection since we are trying to create the world's biggest nickelodeon collection 
collection anyway. And we've got our avatar loft that we're always working on slowly but surely. So these will be key pieces to go up there. All right, next up we got was Casey Jones. And I don't necessarily know if I'm gonna keep this guy or not. If not, I might end up doing like a giveaway on whatnot. So you guys can go ahead and check it out if you guys haven't already. Go follow me on whatnot. You get $15 off your first purchase. And not just that, I do streams over there every Wednesday and Friday. And we do giveaways throughout the entire stream of some amazing stuff. We've given away Nickelodeon sneakers. We've given away copies of Cosmic Shake. And so many awesome people in the community are over there hanging out every Wednesday and Friday. So I highly recommend you guys go check it out. But we got the Casey Jones right here. And I did pick this one up just because this one does have our Nickelodeon logo right there. And it's a PX preview exclusive. And I just honestly thought that was an awesome version of Casey Jones. So it looks very comic book-esque with the drawing style and lighting on it. And it looks like they have Ninja Turtles as well. And these are all the original ones, man. Because if you didn't know, the original Ninja Turtles, all of their headbands were the same color. You know, when they got mainstreamed and made for kids, they were like, okay, let's make them all separate colors because that's a way better for marketing, you know? The more colors there are, the more diversity and the more to collect there actually is. So, of course, that does really, really well for marketing. But we got Casey Jones right there, part of the original crew. I kind of would like to get the Shredders. And if I were to start a Ninja Turtles collection, I think I'm gonna just start a Michelangelo and maybe Shredder collection. Yeah. Because <laughs> I love the Mikey that we have up here. I think Shredder is like an awesome looking villain as well. So maybe I'll just collect some of the Shredder pops here and there and me and Casey do share a name, so I, I'll, I'll say he's cool for that, too. Okay, then next up we have the Scooby-Doo meets the Boo Brothers, but I not only wanted to add this to the collection, because if you guys don't know, I'm trying to slowly collect every piece of Scooby-Doo media in terms of the show, the movies, all that stuff, so I can be able to watch and have it accessible here in the Cartoon Variety Room. And this movie I do not have, but not just that, I was very interested because it has special features that you do not see in a lot of modern DVDs, so this is probably just because it was an older release. You have a music video on here, along with Shaggy's Hide and Seek and also Mystery Inc. bios. I'm not 100% sure what any of that is, but it's way more features than I expected for a $6 DVD. So let's go ahead and throw it in the DVD player over here and check it on out. Scooby is one of the few shows where you can just sit there and listen to the soundtracks. They're so good. All right, special features. When Ghost Save Boo calls Scooby-Doo music video. If you're picking up that phone, I hope you're not alone. All right, so that was awesome. We're obviously only gonna play a little segment of that because of the copyright on the song. But we also have, you can see Scooby getting pulled out of the Boo Brothers right here along with Scrappy, as you see. He's in the movie, but not just that, you get a little cameo of him right here in the actual special features too. But then let's see, we got Shaggy's Hide and Seek and Family Favorites. I'm interested in what Shaggy's Hide and Seek is, but let's see what Family Favorites is first. These are all like movies that I came out in, like, in the late 2000s. This is probably what they were trying to promote at the time. It said literally that there was a Scooby-Doo Mystery Inc. bios, and we don't even have that in here. It's not even in the special features. What the heck? I'm calling scams! But not just that, let's see what the hide and seek is. Uncle Shagworthy really has hidden jewels all over the house. You must find the, the missing riches, but hurry, you only have a short time to pick the hiding place. The faster you make through the house, the bigger your reward will be. All right, let's see what we got here. That actually sounds kind of fun. Jinkies, good luck. Look for something cool. So we got a pan. Pans can be kind of cool. We got a refrigerator freezer cabinet. That's very cool, right? Very cool. I think that could be very, very cool. I think that could definitely be cool. You can put SpongeBob Ice Pops in there. You can put Scooby-Doo ice cream in there, which is a thing. You yeah, know, that's cool. What is this bottom? Is that the freezer or is it the freezer? What's the freezer? I'm gonna go with that's the freezer. Oh, I got a ghost. No, no. Damn. So it's the top one? So I guess it's the top one. I guess that bottom was not so cool. Now that's cool. Ooh, riches. Oh, I got riches. <laughs> okay, I think if we just settle down here for a second, we play this for a while. I might be able to make some extra guap so we can actually buy one of those trampoline parks I've been talking about. You know, you know, this money isn't real, right? And on top of that, you're saying after all this and you get all this money, the first thing you're gonna purchase is a trampoline park. Okay, first off, say that it's not real to the hundred thousand dollars of Monopoly money I have under my bed, bro. Second. Absolutely. And I gotta say, I love going through these DVDs and finding these little small special features, and that made this one so much more special to me. I'm glad to have this movie in the collection. All right, next up, I forgot to even ask them if I could get a discount, because this was missing one out of the three that apparently comes in here. I'm interested to see what design we missed out on, but we did pick this up. I'm not gonna actually use these air fresheners. I, I don't usually use them. I just wanted to add them to our Nickelodeon files, because I think it's a really, really cool piece, and it's not every day you get a bold and brash air freshener. But for our last item here, we found on this at Spencer's. And I mentioned how these TV guys right here would connect to make one big picture. And I did actually have a version of this poster as a kid in my bedroom. So when I saw this guy right here, another full-sized one, I had to pick it up 
It did get a little crinkled, and that's kind of the, the reason why I kind of avoid these type of posters usually, but I was willing to give it a try, and maybe it'll still look good in a frame, but this is a full-size version of that same TV Guide cover, and I just thought we had to pick it up, just for the, at least just for the note of being able to see it here on the channel as one solid picture, and it be able to have it in our archives either way. But that was actually everything we found at FYE. I had an amazing time with you guys, as always. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey and for being an amazing person. But not just that, we have everything right here. You guys know we're gonna add some of this stuff to the collection today. So stick around for that. For that, you guys know the drill, scan it. Okay, so for the SpongeBob air fresheners, we are gonna put these with our Nickelodeon documents. If you guys don't know, this is our Nickelodeon documents. We keep all the paperwork, DVD slip covers, all that type of stuff. We still need to get a couple more of these guys in, but we have some room right here, so we have it right here with our protector on it to go in the files, and eventually it'll be dropped in one of these thicker protectors along with a couple other items. Okay, and all these are going on the Avatar airlift. We just gotta keep throwing things, and hopefully one day they don't fall back at us. All right, so they're all up there on the Avatar airlift again. After this next week, we're gonna be starting all the renovations here in the room, and one of the things eventually we're gonna have to get through is the Avatar airlift and getting all of this stuff off of here. But once we get this down, we're gonna have so much room for display up there as well. So for right now, we got them up there in the airlift. And for Scooby-Doo meets the Boo Brothers, we're gonna have that back here as well, continuing our collection. If you guys don't know, very soon there is a closet in this room, and that closet is gonna be dedicated to overall cartoon multi-universe and collecting cartoon media, DVDs, VHSs, all that type of stuff is going to be going in there. And of course, Scooby-Doo is going to have his own section, maybe even his own wall. Okay, guys, so up here on the top shelf, we did have the Powerpuff Girls cereal, but as you guys can see, we have a lot of Powerpuff Girls representation. It's so I wanted to get some more representation. You guys know how much I love Scooby-Doo, so we had to get the Monopoly up there with the clue. And I'm keeping this up here, which is the Cartoon Network's Can't Top This, because it's the same style box, but if they ever release another Scooby-Doo related board game or something like that, I would definitely be up to putting that up there. If it's gotta be something that's got the same kind of aesthetic as those two, because they look so good together. If Hasbro owns Monopoly, then they probably own Clue too, so that's why the boxes seem to work so well together. I would love to get one more in that same line, but for right now, that looks perfect. And the Powerpuff Girls cereal, we either find a place inside of here, or we can go ahead and put it in my collection, which is filled with vintage food-related items. All right, guys, that is actually it for this video, though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you guys smack that like button, subscribe if you're new here. You guys are not gonna wanna miss some of the videos that are coming up very soon here. So make sure you subscribe, have bell notifications on, all that great stuff, and check out this video on your screen over here, which is the last video on this channel that I know you are gonna love. So I'll see you guys over there, and as always, Rat Pack, I will see you, beautiful people, in the next one. Adios.